Hey, it's Mike from Hillside Hives. I've gone through two of my hives already, and the Russian bee queens are alive and doing well. We're gonna go through this last hive together of the Russians, and if I can get set up my uh, Saskatraz bees, um, if I can get that set up right, we'll go through that hive as well. So for beginner beekeepers, one of the things that I've learned and I noticed is going into the bees, you have to be very gentle and very slow movements. It's almost like you're doing uh, Qigong or Tai Chi. If you watch those people do Tai Chi, very slow movements. The bees get very frustrated with um, if you're breathing heavy because they can um, actually smell the CO2. So if you take a nice few deep breaths and breathe nice and calmly when you go in so that that CO2 isn't attracting, they can actually smell it and come to your face. So nice, calm, deep breaths. And I always talk to the bees and tell them I'm coming in, um, but I'm kind of weird that way. Um, and then once you're in there, what they react to is they will glue everything together with what's called propolis. So what you need to do is just pry that loose. Um, if you make a sudden noise, a sudden movement, a sudden jerk of this hive, you'll want to just go really slow. Um, and if you make that jerk, just stop for a few minutes and just stay real still. Let them settle down. Um, you'll notice I don't use smoke. If I don't have to use smoke, I won't use smoke. I think smoke is more of an irritant. but if I have to when it's really um, populated, I will. In the summer, I might use smoke in the middle of summer when it's really populated and the hives are really, really going. These only have a couple thousand bees and so I, it's not shouldn't be that bad. So let's take a look. So this was my food. So not really eating that much. Um, you can see they're using their upper entrance and their lower entrance. And what I'm going to try to do is kind of um, combine this a little bit down to I don't want four of these on. I just want three of the boxes on. I just put this on because of we need to do what we needed to do when they were sick. This one's empty. You can see I just use it as a topper for my upper cover. Again, this is glued down. condense this hive down a little bit. I don't want them to have all this space. This one was empty as well. I was just using this as space, I believe. So here's, remember when I put in the other day and I said there's a lot of dead bees? This is where they laid, so I gotta get rid of all of them. This was the queen cage that um, came with this hive. We just gotta get rid of that too. Get those bees out of there. Come on, go. And I put it in my pocket and take it away. So we need to scoop a lot of these dead bees off. This is, remember, I had the package and I had to pour the package in to the hive because it was very cold and I wanted to get the bees in there. So I poured it in and that, this is where they kind of landed. So this is what we're cleaning up today. We need to get them out of there. That's not good for the hive. It's funny because there's actually beekeeper like mort no, morticians, is that what they're called, or funeral directors that will clear all these bees out, all the dead bees, and that's their job, is to clear the dead bees out. This is a little bit of an overwhelming job, so we're going to help them. There's not as many bees in this hive. There was more loss in this hive. So this was a medium frame that I had and they just started. This is an already drawn comb up. So I just want to get these dead bees off. Kind of clean that up a little bit. I'm looking for the queen. Not there. Again, I'm going to look for the queen to make sure she's not on here. 
And these queens are marked, which makes it very easy. I usually don't get marked queens, but these came with marked queens, so. And you can tell I'm getting a lot of bees around me because they are, they were the foragers that were out foraging and they want to get back into their hive. There's the queen. Uh, I'm going to try to zoom it on in later, but she's got a red mark on her. But she's running around there. There she is on top now. Make sure she doesn't fly away. She just came around to this side. Let's get her back in there. dead bees off and then we got to really clear this out but there's a lot of dead bees on the bottom that fell through from that package that just see all those be very careful about putting this down see all these dead bees that this was from the package that had died in the package so we got to get rid of them we're just gonna throw them over here solid bottom board that I have here. That's just because that's all I had. I usually do the screen bottom boards, but I didn't have one. So let's get these back together now. I'm only going to put two, two high. I see these bees are kind of collecting on the side. What I want to do is I want to get them down here. So let's just get them off. There's a few dead bees that are around just, you know, from the hive or from, you know, the package itself that were dead. But these bees now will clean them out. So what I want to do now is I want to I have these two on. They're going to build in these two and they're going to build these two up and then I'll transfer them into a, a, a 10 frame, a regular hive, a Langstroth. But until then, they're just going to build this up just because so many were dead. And we we're starting with such a small package um, so I put this on here and then this is just this is my feeder and my so I'll have the food and the pollen patty will go right here and then there's an upper entrance right here so I'll put this on and then my food I always turn it upside down outside the hive and that's gonna go back in and then my roof will go back on. And then I need to find something. This hive is just a little bit wobbly. I need to find a brick to put on top of that um, just to keep it nice and secure. So that's it. For losing about 75% of each um, hive, my queen has survived. Each queen has survived. And I have about 25% of the bees. When you think of a package of bees that has maybe five to at the most 7,000 bees per package, you know, we have 25% of that. So we're doing, okay, you know, I have a couple thousand bees in here. Um, that's doing pretty good. It's gonna take up a while to get established, but it's just like when I do my mini, my skinny mini splits, it just takes a little bit of time to get established, but you know, they should be up and running in no time. So and you can see there, this is, remember the other day I said fanning, they're not fanning. Um, this is fanning right here, and I'll try to zoom in, and I'll try to get another picture of that later. They have their little butts in the air, and they're telling all their sisters that are coming in, here's where we live. So they're fanning and letting them know. Um, they haven't used their upper entrance yet just now, but they're all coming in this bottom entrance. So, But they're doing good. So very happy to report that. All our tender, loving nursing care the other day worked out really well. And they're loving this 80 degree weather today. So There they are. You can see these little girls saying this is where we're this is where we live sisters. That one's over here. So it's a mess in the apiary today because I haven't cleaned everything up. 
see these two hives over here are not supposed to be there these are the hives that these bees are going to graduate into so they're kind of just here for now because i don't want to carry them back down so it just is a little bit messy but my hive up there is straight now <laughs> it actually looks like it's leaning backwards <laughs> but it's not because the ground slopes down and so that's actually level so um they're doing they're good they're good all right that's it now i'm gonna clean a little bit more of this stuff up all right thanks have a good day